This video is going to show you how to calibrate your LW measurement small postal scale using just about any household objects. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a test weight. Now what I did is I took this box here and then I went out and got two five pound bags of flour. Put those in the box. And now you know with the box this weighs just under 11 pounds. Now to bring it to exactly 11 pounds what I did is I added some quarters and some pennies. It's about 30 quarters and 14 pennies. Now all that in total came to exactly 11 pounds and now I can use that as my test weight. Now that we've made our homemade test weight, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the scale using that test weight. First you want to press the zero button and then the on off button. And that brings up the calibration menu. Now right now you can see that it's already set for 11 pounds, but I'm going to show you how to change that. To change between pounds and kilograms, press the unit key. Kilograms, back to pounds. Now to change this first digit, if you say we're going to use 21 pounds, press the hold key. Okay, All the way back to one. Now to press the second digit, press the zero key. We're going to bring that all the way around to 1. Now, we have our weight set on there at 11 pounds, so the next thing we do is we press the on-off button. And once the stabilization indicator comes up, press the zero key. And then it's going to start flashing, and now it's ready for our test weight. So I'm going to put that on there. Wait a few seconds for it to show it that it passed. Passed. Now we know that that's ready to go. Now to save it, you just press the on-off button and the setting is saved. Now that I've shown you how to calibrate the scale, I'm going to show you how well the, our homemade test weight worked. First I'm going to take this off, turn the scale on, and I'm going to have to use a real 500 gram test weight for this just to show you how accurate it is now. Now it's set to grams, I'm going to put the test weight on. Now you can see it's 500 grams and our calibration worked pretty well.